Hi everyone. Uh, this YouTube video I'm doing today is different to my normal. It's nothing to do with the paranormal. Uh, it's about a funeral which I attended today. The gentleman involved had a great lust for life and a great love of stock cars. He didn't want an ordinary funeral. He didn't want to travel in a hearse. He didn't want the family cars and all the black and the grief. He wanted people to have fun. He wanted people to remember him with fondness and for people to enjoy themselves. And he decided that he wanted his final journey to be made in a camper van which he had spent hours and hours toiling to get it right for journeys for himself and his wife. So while I was there I observed what was going on and I wrote a poem and the poem goes The blue and black camper van appeared in view Its proud owner was there inside Hours and hours he had toiled on it. Those gathered clapped at its arrival. It pulled up and the driver got out, while its owner remained within. Because he was going on a journey. This was the journey of his lifetime. A crowd of grim-faced onlookers bowed, doffing their hats, as a mark of respect. Grandchildren cried when the door opened to reveal the coffin that he travelled in. Fanfare for the common man played loudly over what he had named the banana tram. Yellow roses were placed by photographs with a chequered flag blowing in the breeze. His children trying not to show any grief, as he had requested only laughter at his passing. This larger than life character now lay at rest, prepared for this his final journey in his camper van. A husband, a father, grandfather, a friend loved by many, a hard working man who lived for his family. His passion for life and stock cars was all around him. Now gone from sight, but not from hearts and minds. Before paying their last respects to this man, they reminisce their time they shared in life. Friends and family waving goodbye as he departed. For this, his final journey in Banana Tram. I know that he will never be forgotten. His legend will live on through the years. Such a character cannot just pass away. And I am sure he will continue to look on and care for those that he loved. So on saying that, I hope you approve, Paul. It was a pleasure knowing you in life. It was a pleasure working alongside you. And it was a pleasure sharing many laughs with you over the last couple of years. So bye for now, old friend. And one day we will meet again. Thank you for listening to this. And wherever you are, Paul, I hope you will find the peace and the joy that you sought in this life.